Hello class, uh, we are now going to week four, and um, I want to start off by saying that I'm very happy with the quality of work that I'm seeing still, and um, you should feel good about that. Um, I, I want to mention that sometimes I'm getting uh, students telling me now that they're having uh, issues with Canvas, or they're confused about some of, um, of what to do, and uh, yet you're not contacting me or you're taking a very long time to do that. Uh, I make myself very available to uh, all of you, so I want to encourage you right now. This is a time where if you're a little bit behind or you're having some s issues that, that it's not too late or difficult, it's, it's feasible to catch up. But if you keep putting things off and if you're not turning in work uh, because of other issues and you wait later to tell me um, even if I allow you to turn in late work uh, you might just be overwhelmed uh, with your situation so I need you to contact me if there's any kind of uh, issues you're having um, you just you really need to do that and you don't need to feel dumb about any kind of questions you have um, some of you this is your first time being uh, online and um, you know, or, or using this program uh, and so, whatever the case is, you just need to contact me if you're having an issue. Uh, um, and I, I need you to do that sooner than later, okay? Um, and then, I just want to mention that this week we have a little bit more work, work to do, you'll notice, than um, last week. Some weeks we'll, we will just have a, a bigger or a smaller workload. But we're, we're covering the American Revolution, which is an important topic. and I went out of my way to kind of expose you guys to a lot of various ideas about this important topic. Um, and so I, I also am going to have some students um, feel uh, uncomfortable with some of the interpretations about the American Revolution. And uh, I want to remind you that I'm not advocating a particular one. You are being exposed to a various ideas that uh, literally will have never crossed your mind for many of you and um, that's what we're supposed to be doing right uh, giving ourselves an opportunity to look at, at, at this in a, a different light and again when we're doing the Howard Zen book um, I just always want to remind everybody that this that when I when I give you a lecture when I'm having you read this book um, you are not expected to buy into every idea. Uh, the idea of this class is to get you engaged in thinking about the topics while you're learning about the topics, okay? And so uh, I just want to keep promoting that idea uh, uh, as, as what, what's important to this class, okay? Um, and so, you know, you're asked in one of your papers if this was a real revolution or not. Uh, that's seems like almost an insulting question to many people who kind of take the more old hardline position. Um, it's fair if you, if, if you want to write in your paper that that's an insulting question, that is fine, but I want you to document why that is, like why that uh, question wouldn't even be appropriate. If that's how you feel, then I want you to, to address that. And you can make a very interesting paper just on that topic of alone. Um, but so, so that's just kind of the direction that I want you to realize that we, we're need to be taking things, okay? Um, engage with the discussion. Now, the last thing to say. While I've told you you're, you're not required to read the Visions of America textbook, I always say it's highly recommended, and I recommend it because it's more of a smooth narrative of the standard history, and it's less controversial. It's more or less the kind of bread and butter ideas that you need to know about uh, certain events. And so my lectures, especially on this one, are a little bit choppy because I have to condense a very big topic that requires a whole entire class to be put into this week. And uh, I want to highlight certain aspects. I'm not talking about certain characters that are very important, like Lafayette. Uh, I could do a whole um, section on him. Um, characters who are important to the revolution. Um, and, and so there, there's much missing in this section coming from me uh, in regards to the history itself. But I'm hoping that I, 
you will have enough uh, material that uh, you've been engaged with that you can develop it further. Now, I have a clip from uh, some professors from Yale that I put uh, up here that are on YouTube, and, and you'll see one here uh, on the Declaration of Independence. She does a great job of just straightforward, good, high-quality American history. And um, she covers the revolution uh, and many other parts of uh, U.S. history really thoroughly. And actually, on the Yale uh, site, you can watch high-quality uh, lectures from some of America's top scholars uh, um, on the subject. So, again, I, I'm hoping, you know, I'm inviting you to uh, kind of, you know, develop, take your interests outside of this classroom and keep developing it outside, okay? Because uh, we're just not going to cover uh, everything that many of you who are interested in this topic are going to want to learn about. Okay, I've said enough on that. Have a great week, and again, contact me if you uh, need anything, and uh, we'll go from there.